We just had some, uh, shall we say, vacancies in the uh, rabbit herd here, uh, thinning out the numbers uh, like Uncle Ned does. Anyway, uh, this is just going to show you a little bit here on uh, some of the materials to get started with and things like that. Uh, you can build your own cages, and uh, we'll show you some of the ones we've uh, we've built and, and we've got from folks that uh, have raised rabbits at different times. Uh, you know things like that. But if you're if you're getting started for the first time, really the easiest thing to do is go ahead and invest the uh, 15 or 17 dollars and buy one of these little cage kits. Uh, fairly easy to put together. Uh, this one, the wife put together, so the door's on backwards. <laughs> she says that's not funny okay yeah I'll, I'll admit it I put it on backwards the door's supposed to be going to the outside but uh, anywho wasn't sure if she was paying attention or not but we got our got our confirmation there uh, the equipment to keep rabbits fairly simple cage like this you can keep typically what we're going to do is as, as they get to breeding age we're going to start separating them out you know the the males from the females the chicks from the dudes that all that good stuff uh, we don't want to keep them together because they're going to, you know, they're going to race or they're going to, you know, try to have babies all the time. And uh, we want to kind of have some, have a handle on controlling that a little bit. Also having a male around when, uh, you know, uh, new little babies, you know, are out there can, can be kind of a challenge. We really, we really want to have the mom alone with the babies uh, for the first couple weeks. Just to give you an idea of, uh, of how long this, uh, this type of equipment will last. Uh, this is this cage is about about 10 15 years old now and uh, you know this it's usually kept up out of the weather and such but you can see there's there's some slight rust on here but this cage is still is still holding together fairly well uh, so you know it's yeah it's you could mail you can make your own and all that good stuff as well too but what you're gonna find is these are these are really convenient cages to use uh, so if, if if money's not that big of an issue you know go ahead and spend the money to uh, to get some good cages like this you know to begin with and that and uh, and that'll help that'll help an awful lot other equipment you're going to need as you uh, as your does start actually having babies and such as well is uh, is a uh, metal nest boxes like this really come in handy uh, now you could you know in a pinch you could use a uh, uh, cardboard box for a short period of time what will happen is she'll she'll start munching on that after a while uh, you can build it to where there's you know you cut a little lip out here in the front where it's uh, you know say the box is, is this high all the way along you cut a little lip out you know to where uh, you know it's raised up maybe a couple inches from the bottom so the uh, so the babies can't jump in and out of because uh, they'll hold on to the teats and things like that as the uh, as the mom's jumping around in the cage and they'll get scattered all over the uh, the cage which which isn't good because even in the summertime uh, you know the, they're, they're born naked you'll show uh, you'll see in a little bit uh, we have some we have some video from from some of the last litters we had in that and you'll see when they're really young I mean they're they're butt booty naked you know I mean they're just completely naked they don't have any fur nothing no no hair the whole nine yards it takes roughly about seven to ten days for them to really get any decent amount of uh, of hair on there so they are completely at the whim of their mom and whatever you put in there to keep them uh, to keep them alive to keep them warm enough the first uh, first couple weeks so what we always do is we put some grass or some hay in there and uh, the mom you know doesn't always but a good mom will pull some hair from her underbelly usually from around her teats and things like that which is nice because then of course it's easier for the babies to get at the uh, the nipples and such when the time comes but she'll also she'll lay uh, you know she'll make a nest and we have some video of that this has been kind of a about a six month project because we wanted to show rabbits in various you know uh, uh, stages of growth and things like that and kind of so we're kind of kind of having to cobble this all together you know tie it all up in that so we'll we'll have to probably add on to it to to tie up loose ends as as time goes on the other nice thing to have, and this is uh, this is an older one. It's kind of dirty. You can never get these things super super clean. Uh, this is why we're kind of letting it dry out here, taking it out of rotation for a couple of days, and and then once it's dry real good, we'll kind of we'll kind of scrape it really well and get all the all the residuals off. But this is just basically a poop catching pan, a little uh, little droppings pan. And uh, if you stack your cages, you know this will go between the. Uh, do we have a cleaner one? How about that one there? Can you drag that over here? Um, yeah, <clears throat> and just just set it down there on the ground. Um, you can see even still this this one isn't 
you know, this, this, you know, guys, this is, you're raising animals, okay, so, so all you PETA types and, and, and other miscellaneous idiots that go, oh my god, there's poop on there, well, yeah, animals poop, you know, I mean, this is, this is life, guys, it's, it's, it's called the real world, so, you know, you, you, you know, what you do is you dump these trays once a day, you give them a little rinse and stuff, because some of them, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll tend to have a little bit more liquid in them, you know, a couple of our, a couple of our gals, you know, they must go in the corners because, you know, there's never any liquid. It's always just the little dry, you know, little dry Smurf berries there, you know, to, uh, to, to have in there. And, and, and you can put them right in on the garden. You can put them in a, in a big barrel, you know, compost them and such. You know, that's kind of what's going on right here. You know, we got a couple barrels that some of them go right into. Uh, you know, and this cage isn't usually here. We're just kind of doing some spring cleaning in the rabbit tray. In the rabbit tree but uh you know throw you some earthworms in there from the uh from the store to get them going and they'll munch that down it'll be really really nice good earth you know to uh to take right out and put right in your uh, uh put right in your garden and or just plant stuff right in here that's usually what we're doing with these barrels uh we have our chickens free ranging this year so the chickens have kind of get in gotten in and, and making a bit of a mess of this and that so uh, we may or may not be planting anything in there if we do we'll wrap it in uh in some type of wire. Okay, we're just showing the progression here of uh, <clears throat> the ages and such of, of, bu of baby bunnies, of little bunnies. Look at the cage there. These guys are, what do we figure, a week? Those are about a week old. About a week old. Kind of a small litter. This is her first one. She lost uh, lost several in the litter. But you can see they're getting a little bit of uh, light fur there. Uh, they also, their eyes aren't open yet, if you can zoom in and show. I think they're actually about a week and a half. Week and a half old? So. Okay. Uh, this is one thing that uh, we're not always the best on, but if you're one of these anal retentive types, be good to do is to write down days of the birth, you know, things like that. We usually mark the breedings on the calendar, and then we'll go back about mm, day 24, day 25, put in the nest box, put in some some hay <clears throat> or some grass whatever you have and she'll start pulling fur or she should I'll show the very bottom there all the fur that fell out <clears throat> all right this is pretty common you know uh, what you what you want to watch for especially the first week or two especially in colder climates is that they have enough that's good if that they have enough uh, uh, you know uh, Fur, she has enough fur pole to keep them warm because even even down here where it's you know where it's fairly warm you can have the little bunnies die from uh, from even you know like a 50 degree day with a lot of wind so one of the reasons this area looks so bad is we have usually have tarps and blankets and stuff set up around this when we have some some uh, some baby bunnies and that this other one here and this, you can see I'm speaking a little softer we try not to really get the moms all all stirred up if you want to pause and maybe come around to this. I don't know how well you can see that there. Mm -hmm. But there are some four day old kits. Big rabbits. They're starting to get a little bit of fur. In about 10 days, they'll open their eyes. Right now, we're going to put her back in there, or him. Cover him back up, because it's going to be kind of cold tonight. 